Hey guys, it's Cyrix, and today we are going to be testing out the cars and figuring out what car is the best car to buy in ERLC. But before we get into that, remember to like and subscribe, and also join my Discord server, link down below. So, let's see what car is the best in ERLC. So starting off with these regular cars. So here's the free card that you get for free, just for spawning. Uh, which is the Chevalon Antelope, is what it's now called. And uh, it's a pretty pretty good car, actually, for being free. Uh, it has a nice top speed, so this car is actually better than some cars that you have to buy with money. But now, let's get into some of the cars that you have to buy with money. So first of all, all of these cars right here are trash. Like the first three-ish cars, they're pretty bad because they're barely any faster than the free car. Uh, the only one that might be worth it, yeah, the only one that is worth it, is this uh, 20, 2002 Chevlon Camion, uh, which has a pretty nice speed actually, and it looks pretty good. Um, but also, this is the car that you get if you're a paid access supporter, so you played the game whenever it was. Uh, you had to pay 200 Robux, or you know, some maybe people got it for 15. Uh, then moving down the list, we have some cars here. Uh, this car is, uh, it's okay. It's pretty good. Um, and then also looking at some of these cars. All of these cars are like, okay. Just don't, like, if you're gonna buy one of these, don't spend too much money on it. And now this car. Uh, this one's really worth it. I don't know how much it's, uh, how much it is, but I know it's under 20,000. Um, and this car actually goes really fast, and it looks pretty good. Uh, so if we look at how fast it goes, you can see the acceleration is really fast for being, like, 19k, I believe. And then if we look at how fast it goes, like this. A hundred and we didn't even get up there but I believe the top speed is 140 which is crazy because some of the uh, supercars they uh, are about the same as that 140 so 140 for this $19,000 car this car is definitely worth it and it might be one of the best cars in the ERLC but now moving down the list we have some other cars most of these are like pickup trucks by this time, or just cars that look good. Most of these cars are not very fast though. Uh, they look good, but they're not very fast. So most of these cars are not worth it. Here are some of the classic cars. They're meant to look good because they're classic cars. And then moving down the list, we got the Ford Explorer, uh, Hummer, and if we keep on moving down, you can see how much the uh, horsepower has gone up. Alrighty, and these are still in the 40,000 range. And this car is pretty good actually. It is 45,000. And let's test it out. In my opinion, this looks really good. And uh, this car actually blends in really good because it is a police car. So if you do make it like black or whatever, uh, you will look like you are a police sometimes. And it has it's really fast actually too. The acceleration is nice on it as well. So this is also one of the best cars in the ERLC. And if we continue to go down the list, it's called the Bullhorn Prancer in the game. Oh, we'll see some more classic cars. Or no, it was the 2011 Bullhorn Prancer. And then here's the actual Bullhorn Prancer. This car is really nice too, as you actually. Um, I know my friend loves this car. It uh, has about the same speed as the 2011 one. And it's about the exact same price. They just look different. And then we have some more classic cars. Then we have the uh, Ford Mustang, which is classic. Uh, and then we have this Camaro. Uh, this is a really nice car, actually. I would recommend this car a lot. Uh, moving down the list, we have another Camaro, I believe. Yeah. Uh, this car, it's not fast. No, do not buy this car. Because, I mean, look at this. It's 3,000 more. And it's like, it has like 20, probably, probably 20 miles per hour or less. So if we continue to go down the list, then we start getting into the around the 60,000 range. And then we have the Ford Bronco. Uh, if you like off-roading and just like going off the map in Euro, so this is definitely like the best car for you. It also is super fast if you look at the horsepower. 
Uh, and this is my favorite car, actually, the Euro C. It's uh, super fast, and in my opinion, it looks really nice. And it is the uh, Bullhorn Determinator. The Bullhorn uh, Pueblo? I don't know. Um, and we have the classic Corvette. Uh, I also like this car a lot, it, it, just because it looks good. So if you do the shift button, then it can drift. List, you can see some trucks. And then the uh, Bullhorn Prancer wide body. This car is really nice, because uh, look at the speed in it. And then also look at how nice it looks. And then moving down the list, uh, this car, uh, unless you want like a European looking car, it's not really the best. Uh, moving down, we have the Ford Mustang. Uh, it's a pretty good car, but I wouldn't really recommend it that much, because it's not much faster than the other cars. Yeah, if we look here for uh, 30,000 less, you can get the wide body. And then moving down, we have another European car, the BMW uh, X5, I believe. On GTR. Uh, this car is, in my opinion, for 200,000, it's not really worth it because you can get this Ford Mustang, which is brown. $60,000 cheaper, um, which has the exact same speed, uh, but the GTR it does look pretty nice. And then moving down the list even more, we have this random car that nobody uses, it's not really worth it. And then we have the Corvette, uh, they did fix the Corvette where it can now go over um, the side of the road, and it is super fast, so I definitely recommend this car, the Ford GT. Surprisingly this car is not fast, so. Unless you like the aesthetics of it, uh, then I wouldn't get it. And then the Lamborghini, this car is super fast, looks super nice, I would definitely get this car. And the Bugatti, it's not much faster, but it's like double the price of the Lamborghini. Uh, but if you want to just like flex on people and say, hey, I got the Bugatti, then get this car. It's also the fastest car in the game, of course. So in my opinion, what the best car in the game is, uh, I would say this car, because it's under 20,000. The e Elyson Slick is under 20,000, and it goes 140 miles per hour, which is crazy. And it also looks really nice, and it's a compact car. But if you're looking for something a little more upscale, then I would recommend the Bullhorn Prancer Wide Body. And if you're looking for something even more upscale, I would recommend the Corvette or the Lamborghini if you have enough. So that is what the best cars are in EROC. I hope you guys enjoyed. Remember to like and subscribe. Link in the description to my Discord server. See you in the next video. Bye. No, I don't wanna waste what's left.